Hey guys, it's me, the girl with curls, and I'm here bringing you some products that I was sent by NaturallyCurly.com to review. Now, I've had these products for quite a while, and let me just go out and put this disclaimer out. I'm not being paid to make this video. This video, um, these products I received from Naturally Curly to give my honest review on how I feel about the products, and I've been using them for the past couple of weeks now, so. I can give you a proper review on them. Um, I can give you a more of a proper review on them because I don't want to make you a video and then the I haven't thoroughly used the product. So I gave myself a couple weeks, give or take. I had a baby too as well. So congratulations to me and my newborn baby. Um. So yeah. So let me go ahead and make this video. Hey you guys, the products that I have today are by Dark and Lovely, it's all natural line. Um, and here's just a few of the products that I have. This is what the bottle looks like. <clears throat> I know you guys are familiar with the ones with the orange top on them. Um, I don't know what that line is consists of, but this is the anti-breakage line. Um, it's supposed to strengthen and restore your hair. So I've been using it a few times. I've used it quite a few times. Now I'm just going to show you how I style my hair using these products um, and how I feel about it. Now I'm not going to film me um, washing my hair, but I will film how I feel about each product after I style my hair and all that good stuff. Um, but just I will show you how I use each product. Um, except for the conditioners and the shampoos because they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, I will give you guys a little review on how I feel about these. Alright guys, I got these two products. I got the Anti-Breakage Moisture Restore. Uh, if I can speak. Um, I have both these products. I'm going to use both conditioner and shampoo to wash my hair. Um, my hair is a five-day-old wash and go, so let's get started. All right, I just got out the shower, and my hair is pretty much soaking wet. I thought I would show you what my hair looks like after shampooing and conditioning my hair. Um, yeah, I had to adjust it. Um, I don't want you to think I didn't have anything on. I do have clothes on. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm showing you in this video, what my hair looks like, um, the definition of my hair when it's soaking wet, a little bit of a length check because it's been a while since you've seen the length of my hair. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now in this video, I'm showing you how I'm show, um, applying the Root de Tip Mender. Um, this Root de Tip Mender <laughs> has a pump. Um, I'm not too big fan of it, but oh well. Let's get started. Um, I'm going to apply about five pumps, um, give or take, in my hand. It's kind of hard to get it out, but about five pumps approximately. I'm going to apply it in my hair. Um, I'm going to apply it to my tips first. You see I do it mid, midway all the way down to the, to the tips of my hair. And then I continue to do that all over my head. I'm not showing you me pumping the product in my hand. Because give or take, I apply about five pumps, give or take, um, or whatever. Now you see I am applying the rest of the product to the top of my head. Um, because your hair is different lengths, you have ends all over your head. Um, I decided to apply it all over my hair. And again, I'm getting a little bit more product, so I can apply it to the top of my head. Um, just give an even coat, because I feel like this product is more of a leave-in conditioner than a root to tip mender. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm showing you on this part. Now I'm going to apply the Super Softening Hair Butter. This stuff is the bomb.com. Okay. So yeah, I guess I just decided to show you a little bit more of the product. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And on the inside, this is the product. Um, it's very nice whipped um, consistency. It's like a whipped shea butter. It's very 
thick, nice, and fluffy. And now I'm going to apply this product. I like to apply my products by kind of like a pancake motion. I really don't like dividing my hair when I apply product because I tend to apply too much. I know it's pretty much the opposite. I'm a little bit backwards, but I like to apply my product in this manner um, because what you'll see in a little in next um, you'll see how I will um, distribute the product all over my hair without having to separate my hair per se. Um, I really, I don't really just measure how much I scoop out of the container. I just scoop as needed as my hair needed. It's a pretty light consistency, so it's pretty good at moisturizing my hair, and it really doesn't have. I haven't had any issues with applying too much product in my hair okay so this is the part where I show you how I evenly distribute it through my hair I'm using a paddle brush I know a lot of you were like freaking out but this is how I apply my products I my hair is already detangled so if it looks like I'm ripping through my hair I'm not um, I've already combed out my hair in the shower and now I'm just distributing it through my hair the product so it makes sure it gets all thoroughly in my hair and I like this method because at the end it pretty much it defines my curls so much better and um, you see I'm shingling my hair to give it a little bit more definition make the curls pop now I am going to let my hair dry. What I'm using is the curly tea towel. Um, I will put that down in the description box so you can figure out how to purchase yours. Okay, so I'm going to apply this. <laughs> it's pretty big, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so it's a big curly tea towel. But I figured I would grab one that was bigger than normal because my hair is going to grow. Um, and you basically, it's the same thing if you would use a t-shirt to dry your hair. It will dry your hair evenly, um, without giving you the dryness and causing any unwanted frizziness or breakage. So I love using this method when, um, drying my hair. Now I'm going to wait about 30 minutes, something like that, or to an hour, and I'll be back. See you in a few. Hey guys, it's me, the girl with curls, and I'm back again. Um, I'm just going to let you know a little about how I feel on the products themselves. Okay, so I didn't show you the whole video of me actually washing my hair in the shower and whatnot, but I will show you the products that I used um, in order to wash my hair through the anti with the dark and lovely and I can't speak today. <laughs> um, what products I used and how I felt about them. So let me go ahead and tell you how I felt about each product within the dark and lovely all natural line, um, and it's their anti breakage line with the green top. Okay, so here is a tension release hair wash, and here's what it looks like. And I'll just read for you a little bit of the back. It has no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones. Um, it's supposed to tight. It's okay. Let me read it. For tight dry scalp or product buildup, our tension release hair wash was crafted to soothe dryness of scalp while freeing the hair of gook, the bad and the ugly. Hair and scalp have a soft, clean, hydrated feel at first use. So let me go ahead and tell you what this smells like. It has a really nice smell to it, almost like a fresh citrusy smell to it. Not bad, it smells good. Um, it doesn't linger in my hair if you're not a big citrusy person and it bothers you. It doesn't linger in your hair. It smells really clean and fresh. Um, nothing florally or fruity. It's really, really fresh smell to it. I used this and I shampooed my hair twice with this. Um, with this hair wash. I shampooed twice. had a little bit of suds to it. Not a whole lot. It's more like a... Um, it almost looks like conditioner in a way. Um, but it did cleanse my hair. I did feel like it cleansed my hair enough. I didn't have a whole lot to build up. The days before, I just had been using just a leave-in conditioner and then going. 
but however I really did like this for washing my hair a little goes a long way because it's very thick um, the only thing I can compare it to is the Shea Moisture um, line of shampoos it's that thickness and it does that much of a great job um, it's in a bigger it's in a big bottle this is a 13.5 fluid ounce um, so I really really like this I used it twice didn't make my hair feel stripped I did feel like my hair was clean though um, and I feel like it did the job it was supposed to do the next product I'm going to mention is the strength restoring conditioner And again, this has a citrusy smell to it as well. Now, let me read it back to you. Snap pop should not be the sound of your tangling your hair. Our strength restoring conditioner is a master remedy treat created to strengthen fragile breaking hair, replenish it with moisture. Hair stands up, stands up to the snap pop test and resists the urge to break. No mineral oil, no parabens, no petrolatum. I can't even pronounce that word, but I'll put it down in the description box so what else not in the products. Um, and if I can find what ingredients are in these, I will also post those down in the description box as well. When I use this, I always like to apply conditioner to my hair in the beginning. Like I'll wet my hair in the shower, I'll apply the conditioner, finish up what I'm doing regularly, and then um, rinse and brush or comb out my hair well what i use to detangle my hair in the shower is this brush right here it's pretty nasty but it is my um i don't know what this is called um paddle brush that's what it's called i use my paddle brush when detangling my hair because i feel like it doesn't just break through my hair like crazy um it works for me it doesn't work for everyone but it does work for me when i detangle and style my hair with this brush <clears throat> This stuff is pretty thick as well. It barely will even come down from the bottle. I'm a really big fan of this. It, again, like I said, it has a citrusy smell. So if you're not a citrusy smelly person, citrusy smelly person, <laughs> you probably won't enjoy this too much. But I really enjoyed this. It detangled my hair like a charm. My hair was like five day hair. I hadn't washed my hair in forever, it seemed like. And it did wonderfully. Um, detangled my hair made my hair feel soft afterwards um and so i don't know what else to say about this these two products i'm not like i said i haven't been a big fan of like shampoos and other people's conditioners but this conditioner has like topped my favorite conditioners by far um especially to be by dark and lovely and for it to be uh, no mineral oil no parabens no petrolatum whatever that is <laughs> but it, it pretty much does the job and I really like it um again I'm not sure of the prices that I'll have to look up and put it down in the description box but I will let you know what the prices are as soon as possible um okay so let's get to the styling products that I did show you how I applied them in my hair so the first product so the first product you're gonna use is the all natural um, anti breakage root to tip mender. Sorry, it's phone ringing. So it's an all natural root to tip mender, and it has this little pump okay let me go ahead and say okay let me read what it says it does first um it says the ends are, are always the first to go want them to stay skip your next snip appointment with our root to tip mender a rare a rare delicacy um concocted to help prevent split ends before they can start crafted to leave frazzled frayed hair filling soup smooth as it as if resuscitated and brought back to life. No mineral oil, no parabens, no petrolatum. Yeah. So it says you need to shampoo and condition your hair first in the process and that's what I did. What I did was I applied this to it like you've seen in the video. I applied this 
to mainly in my ends in the beginning and then I applied it everywhere else. Because your hair has different lengths everywhere, you want to apply it everywhere um, because it is a root to tip mender. Okay, so this is how I feel about this product. Let me just be honest. First of all, I'm not a fan of this pump. Um, it's not easy to get it out. It comes out fine, but I pretty much prefer this in a, like, for as thick as this is, because look, it barely even comes down in the bottle, and it's fairly thick. Um, yeah, I prefer this in a squirt bottle or in a tube or something else. A pump for something that's as thick as this, I don't think it's very smart. Um, and it's just so hard to get out as much product as you want. Again, this product as well, I've used it so many times, but a little goes a long way, but you tend to use a lot and it's hard to get the product out because it's so thick. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of this. I really can care less about root to tip menders. Uh, my hair is curly, so you can barely tell if my hair needs to be trimmed. It does need to be trimmed, but you can barely tell when my hair is curly. It's how my hair is straight is when you can tell when my hair needs to be trimmed. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. It's probably my least pro favorite product out of the whole line. If it does its job, I'm not sure because I do wear my hair curly. And you can, can't even tell if my ends are trimming anyways. So, yeah, I, this is my least favorite of all, the whole product line. <sighs> okay, so this is one of my favorites out of the product line. And it is the Super Softening Hair Butter. I'm an extreme fan of this product. It is wonderful. Um, let me just say that I haven't been a big fan of, you know, hair butters because they usually are too thick or they leave like a really bad film on my hair or whatnot. But I really, really do like this product. One of my favorites, I can apply it when my hair is dry, I can apply it when my hair is wet, and I still get really good results with it. Here's how thick it is. It's just like a whipped shea butter consistency. Huge fan. Um... But all in all, it ha the whole line has the same smell. This is a, blah, 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 a, a eight ounce, and a little goes a long way. I use a lot of product just because that's what I do. But this product is probably one of my favorites out of the whole line because I can use it multi-purposely. I can do it on my hair dry, and it still makes my hair feel moisturized and a protective style when I'm protective styling and when my washing goes. Um, it's really hard for me to find something that doesn't weigh down my hair. All in all, I give this product line a thumbs up because I am a huge fan. The only thing I do not like is the root to tip mender. I feel like it's useless. They might as well just come up, call it a leave-in conditioner. That's basically what it is. Um, but this is my hair before I manipulate it and um, do all the stuff. My hair is fully dry. Um, but here's the definition I got from just using those products. So yeah, I've got tons of definition, love it, now I just need to fluff it up and go. But that sums up my video, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed this product line and thank you for watching, bye!